If you like opulence, elegance, and exotic animals, you're gonna love today's episode. <laughs> yes. Hello and welcome to Laugh Cry DIY. I am your girl Katie, and today is a very exciting, very dramatic, very Hollywood episode of Laugh Cry DIY because today we have our first celebrity guest. Hi, I'm Mary Lynn Rice Cub, and I'm famous. I'm Mary Lynn Rice Cub. You may know me from 24, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and many, many, many other TV shows and movies. And I'm now an author of the book Famish, My Life at the Edge of Stardom. Get it wherever you buy books. Mary Lynn is not just a comedian and an actress who has appeared in every TV show and movie you've ever seen. She's also a celebrity. And as we know about celebrities, they're just like us. Mary Lynn, why did you call me over today? Oh, now that I'm an author, I need to have a certain style that I'm lacking right now and I need your help. My living room is fine. It's just a little depressing. Where's the wow? Where's the glamour? I mean, I am an author now. What I'm looking for in my new living room is for it to be cozy and opulent. Can you make that happen, Katie? Marilyn reached out after she saw the kitchen makeover I did for comedian Deborah DiGiovanni, linked below. And we are actually gonna be doing two rooms for her. But today we are starting with the living room where we are currently being assaulted by the color gray. Gray rug. Gray pillow. Gray. Great. Mary Lynn is dealing with a common problem, which is that she moved into this house, she brought everything from her old house, but it no longer really reflects her style. So today we have a big challenge. Mary Lynn wanted something opulent and cozy. So how do you make something feel opulent and cozy? How do you make something feel earthy and royal? Two words, baby, Bohemian Regency. If you don't know, Hollywood Regency is a style you've seen before. A lot of glamour, a lot of gold, a lot of metallics. And on the flip side, we have Bohemian. Very natural, very earthy, very grounded, very cozy. So today, we are doing a very bold mashup of Bohemian, Regency, plus a little dark academia, throw in some mid-century to create the grand, exciting, opulent, but also very humble, cozy, earthy room of Mary Lynn's dreams. And PSA, design decisions have been made today that are shocking, that are controversial, that will probably shift the culture. So America, I hope you're ready. Now before we dive into today's design, we need to talk about the single biggest influence in our design process, Leo. Mary Lynn has the sweetest dog and the most beautiful cat. <laughs> yes. Now Dikembe, on the other hand, is a classic, handsome, gorgeous, Hollywood leading man, which means he's kind of an emotional terrorist. Dikembe, get out of the dishwasher. <laughs> so throughout the process, we wanted to make sure that the design decisions we made were gonna be Leo and Dikembe approved. All right, first things first, let's talk about this coffee table. This is a real celebrity's home and a real celebrity who simply loves her coffee table. Mary Lynn said of all the rooms in her house, and she has so many because she is very rich and famous, this is the one place she likes to sit to use basically as her office desk. We are gonna keep this coffee table, but I'm gonna take it away right now and give it a little makeover to make it fit our new beautiful aesthetic. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What's up MTV? Welcome back to day one of the makeover. We're gonna be painting this room a like plum rich burgundy wine. Why? Because Mary Lynn has these cherry red floors and they can be really challenging to work around. When you have an element like this in your home, sometimes just lean into it. We are going very grand, very opulent, and these like rich, warm burgundy reds are an instant way to get that feeling. And yes, a dark color is going to like take some light away from this space, but we're gonna add it back in through other ways and make this a really cool, moody space. But there's one element in this room that is kind of interrupting the flow. Here, we have an entire built-in cabinet. And we love a built-in, they're great, they're fun, they add character and personality. However, this built-in is not even white. It's simply a weird off cream color, so it is not working with our design. So we're gonna paint it the same color as the wood beams. And we're only painting the fronts of it, so that if she ever wants to change it back, she totally can. So here, we have all of the cabinet fronts and doors painted and we did a primer. This is actually a gray primer. It's a little bit darker and we're gonna hit it with two coats of that nice, rich, dark chocolate brown. Instead of getting all new hardware, we're just gonna hit it with a little antique gold rub and buff. And these cabinets are looking gorgeous. Ingrid, how hot are you? So 
soul hat. <laughs> I'm Mark and I'm a badass. Okay, before we paint, Mark is changing out that ceiling fan. So we are making the room dark and that's bold and that can make it feel more enclosed. And that fixture hung down really low. So to add a little bit more space back into the room, we are getting we're doing a higher kind of flush mount um, Sputnik design. Terrible news, we're starting with a moment of hell. Finding this color has been hell. We have swatched six samples, finally narrowed it down, got the paint formulation, and guess what? It is not swatching the same color as the color that we originally chose. So we have to go to the paint store and solve this problem. Welcome to day one. Alrighty, at long last, it's been a journey, it's been a struggle, it's been a war, but we have finally got the perfect shade. She is rich, she is regal, she is Benjamin Moore. <laughs> Glamour poor. We had to paint that room real quick, but do you see this? <laughs> you guys can see every single spoke had to be wired into that. And I thought Katie already did it. Sorry. All right, while the main paint color is drying, we're gonna do a light pass um, of the beautiful chocolate brown. All right guys, lighting's a lot better. We're on second coat, we're hustling. You're just gonna be bent over in this opening shot, Katie? Wow. Oops. Guys, the key to painting a dark color, keep a wet ass paint edge. Get a bucket, get a mop. <laughs> High drama, high elegance, and also absolutely psychotic lighting. And I know that on camera, this ranges from looking like a crazy pink cranberry to like a deep Merlot, but I'll tell you what it looks like in real life. Perfect. And now it's time for everybody's favorite kink, tape pulling. And today on the channel, we have Crystal Adams. What's up? And Mary Lynn is back in touching up some work. So guys, usually you wanna pull paint when you have a wet edge. But because we weren't sure if this room was gonna be totally opaque, we let the tape dry. And so when you do that, you need to run over it with a razor blade before you pull it, or else you will pull some paint off the wall. Okay, that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to yell at me. <laughs> Okay, our beautiful light is in. And we wanted to kind of mix modern and old, make it super eclectic, but we needed something that would sit higher up to the ceiling. And most importantly, we wanted to give her a lot of light and this style of lighting gives you a lot of light. We want to change. <laughs> we do want to change one thing on Mary Lynn's existing sofa and that is the leg. Right now she just has plain black little like pedestal legs and we want to create something a little more sophisticated, a little more elegant. And since it's a clean mid-century line, we're going with a clean mid-century heel. We're going from a platform to a sensible heel. Okay, this is the way these legs work. You get this into the base and then you screw these beautiful legs onto it. But we have to drill a hole so that we can pop these in. And I am weak and Mark is strong and he's embarrassing me because I can never do it and he always can. Now before Mary Lynn had a gray rug, it also wasn't quite to scale because not all of the furniture fit on it. Now we are bringing in a new rug to really fill the space and to add, guess what? Even more color. Alrighty, this beauty is a distressed Persian style rug. It's super soft, it's still a low pile, and most importantly, you can booty bounce on it. <laughs> 
All right, now that we have a beautiful, dark, rich, elegant plum room, we have added a lot of darkness to the space. And to counteract that, we need to bring in elements to bring light into the space and move light around the space. And one of the best ways to do that is to mix mirrors and metals. This is an incredible Facebook Marketplace find. It has an actual stone top and an entirely gold leafed front. So this is a big wow and a huge amount of gold to bounce light around the space. So to make a nice little station where you can drop things, but also so that you can give yourself a last look before you go, we're gonna add a mirror to this space. But we're not gonna go with your simple, basic round gold mirror. We love her, but for this place, we need more drama. And that is this incredible, stunning, actual camel bone mirror. And we're gonna properly hang that mirror tomorrow. But guess what? In my opinion, this is very boring. We are going over the top, opulence, elegance. And so we are going to add a beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, teal peacock screen, just to add a little more drama to that corner. Oh, hi, are you a 1920s starlet getting ready? Anyway, it's called a vignette, Google it, it's fine. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is a new day. So we wanna create a big wow moment and we wanna add some visual interest and we wanna mix in those mirrors and metals. We are going to do a very, very, very grand gold gallery wall. We've thrifted a ton of frames, different sizes, different shapes, different textures. We want it to feel grand, but also kind of just effortlessly curated. Fun fact, I used to work at Godiva Chocolates and the aesthetic there was what we called elegant disarray. So we are about to elegant and disarray all of these frames. I have traced every single frame that we have on construction paper and created perfect templates. This way we can play around with the space, mix and match, move things around. I realized there's one element in this space that we need to add in because it is gonna affect how we arrange the gallery wall. And that is Mary Lynn's new side tables. So before she had a lot of mid-century furniture in here, very streamlined couch, mid-century style end tables. Number one, every single thing in the space is a square box. And I wanted to introduce something more round for contrast and to soften the space. And number two, she has an unusually high couch. It's 29 inches high. That's actually the height of a standard dining table. She had to reach over almost a full foot to put anything down on them. But we don't judge on this channel. If you want super low end tables, do it. And I wanted to introduce a material that is very important to the bohemian lifestyle. Rattan, baby. The light rattan contrasts beautifully with the sofa and walls. They have this beautiful detailing, which adds really nice visual contrast and texture to the room. But let me tell you something interesting about these side tables. I made them. We have a sizable budget. We're working with a Hollywood starlet. I pitched her on round rattan end tables. But when I was starting to look for them all over the internet, at any price point, I found that they did not exist in the size we needed. So what did I do? I grabbed two popular Ikea baskets added a 24 inch pine round, stained it, sealed it, and if you wanna see me make them, I will link the video down below. Am I a genius? You tell me. So Mary Lynn previously had very large lamps on her side table, and we decided to nix those and instead do wall-mounted plug-in sconces. So we're gonna make sure that those are nicely centered over each table and incorporated into the full gallery wall. Perfectly centered, not gonna lie, adding those sconce templates in, Throw off my whole pattern. Oh, So I'm just using chalk in my level. I'm basically just drawing a box to kind of mark out the general square in which I want these things to go. Starting with our main piece, this beautiful round mirror. Now the key to doing a very fun, eclectic gold gallery wall is to get an assortment of frames with different textures. And because we thrifted them from different sources, they're all in a slightly kind of different finish. Some are brighter gold, some are more antique, and that's perfect because it feels like it's effortlessly thrown together. Mary Lynn is a very active touring comedian and actress. Therefore, she cannot necessarily commit to full life plants in a room. We gotta bring that earthy feeling. We need to get greenery into the space to make this feel like an opulent, cozy jungle. How do you do that? Especially if you don't want to take up a lot of floor space. The answer is very simple. Put that greenery on the wall. We have created a series of beautiful faux greenery wall art. This is very similar to the faux plant wall art I did for my friend Bree's patio. You just get a frame, you cut out a piece of foam core to match the size of the frame. 
I used some moss from the craft store as a base. Then I looped some floral wire through and added my faux greens in whatever pattern I wanted. And that's it. Now, one thing that's great is that I got a bunch of these frames and a lot of them are empty. So Mary Lynn can ultimately switch out with the art she wants. But for now, we're just gonna put in some placeholder pieces and I'm actually gonna be using portions of a wallpaper pattern that we're using in another room. So you will see here, I've actually cut a piece of wallpaper um, because it's green and we're going with our garden jungle theme. And this is just such a great, cheap, easy way to bring in pattern to a room. You can frame a postcard, a piece of wallpaper, a piece of wrapping paper. And if you can't wallpaper, you can do a lot of large frame wallpaper prints and you get the same vibe. You know we love to stay cheap on this channel. On that note, I did also have a tiny frame and I put some dried flowers in it because that's another way to bring in a different kind of visual element or even a texture without just repeating the same style of art. So to add light and style and glamour, we decided to do sconces, but we do not have hard wiring for sconces. So we chose a wonderful, convenient, renter-friendly option, which is a plug-in sconce. In the world's most glamorous teardrop shape. That's so pretty. Am I glamorous enough for this? I mean, it's already so pretty, but you mean to tell me it's functional too? Oh, perfect. I needed a light to read my book by. I had a hotel room above the Casino de Monte Carlo. Uh, excuse me, it's called Famish. My life at the edge of stardom. Get it wherever, where, get it wherever you buy books. We are back and our cabinets are beautifully painted. But we did not paint the inside because if Mary Lynn wanted to change it, we wanted to make it easy just to paint the facade. But we did want to add something fun and special and funky to the inside. And therefore, we are going to be wallpapering with a cute, fun, neutral pattern. And you better believe I'm finding every little hole where a shelf might go and making a little mark just so that she can adjust shelves if she ever wants to in the future without having to do this herself. Let's get some doors on. Dikembe. <laughs> so we've already laid the base foundation for the room, but now textiles are here to really up the glam and the coziness. Now, I will say one thing, working with this color was true hell. It is such a tricky color to find a match for, and especially when you're buying things online. So finding curtains for this was very, very challenging. We've ordered more than 16 pairs, not gonna lie. And we originally had thought about doing some sort of light pattern, even going into like the blues and the teals, but we realized that tone on tone was the way to go. One problem, when we finally did find curtains, there were two we liked and we could not decide which we wanted. So we did the very scandalous, very dramatic, very thrilling thing, and we added both. <gasps> we have this beautiful, sateen print, it's embossed, it has leaves all over it. Oh my God, prom dress? Hello. Oh my God. And we have the world's most beautiful, luxurious, glamorous velvet. And we realized, let's just stack them. It adds more volume and it adds more interest. So you get the glamour of the velvet and the pop of the sateen. And even better, we put the satin ones on the inside so that they could shimmer from the light that touches them. <gasps> Because we're so glamorous in this room, we needed to humble these curtains a little bit. So I got these beautiful wood bead tassel curtain tie backs. The tassels make it glamorous. The wood brings in a natural element. Absolutely stunning. Alrighty, pillow time, baby. Now we have a really beautiful long couch, but we didn't want to overstuff it with pillows. And one thing that Mary Lynn did request is not too much pattern in the space. So we wanted to keep it light and subtle. These are large pillows that Mary Lynn already had. And these are the same pillows she uses to sit on when she's at her coffee table working. And because we are working around animals, we wanted to make sure that any textile was easily washable. So these are all removable covers. We're adding a very, very light, subtle floral pattern, slightly chinoiserie meets tropical jungle and it has an unusually bright color palette but that little pop just makes all the difference especially with all the dark tones in the room stay now we wanted to focus on materials that were very regal very lush and nothing says regal nothing says monarchy nothing says subjugation like 
a beautiful, elegant fur. And lastly, we wanted to add something fun and exotic, but we knew that there is one star of the show and that is Dikembe and we could not outshine Dikembe. We could only compliment him. So we have chosen this beautiful, gorgeous leopard print lumbar just as a nod to his beauty. Fun fact, you guys know the difference between cheetah and leopard print? Leopard print's gonna have these beautiful rosettes all over it and a cheetah print is only gonna have dots. And now, you know. And of course, we all need a beautiful, cozy throw. I got this kind of mismatched damask, which has tassels on it. So important to add texture and luxury to a space. Guys, we took Mary Lynn's old coffee table, sanded it down, painted it, hand painted this incredible faux bone inlay meets Moroccan tabletop because we wanted to add some pattern and some contrast by introducing black into the space. It is stunning, it is beautiful, and most importantly, it is linked below so you can watch that makeover on your own time. All right, now Mary Lynn already had this piece which totally fit in the space, it was beautiful. She got it at an estate sale, but I did wanna add something funky and interesting and whimsical, and the answer is an incredible gold faux tree trunk drink table. So this is a perfect little plant stand, drink table, book reading table, whatever. It's really cool. Now we are almost done, but in this room we have decided that more is more. And when you find a four foot oil painting of a peacock, you have to buy it and you have to put it up in a luxury room like this. So everybody in their living room has remotes thrown around. We've got matches, we've got lighters, we've got other objects that you might need a lighter for. So we're just adding this cute little basket just to corral those remotes, matches, things. And you might recognize this basket from a previous episode, also linked below. And now it's everybody's favorite time, style time. We are not gonna overstyle this space because Mary Lynn is gonna grow. She's gonna collect more objects she loves. But one thing we do wanna add is more plants, even if they're fake. Now, Mary Lynn had to leave to go actually shoot a film. So she just texted me, she's about to come home. So it is time for everybody's big reveal. Hey. <gasps> what? I'm a goddess. <laughs> Leo, do you like the makeover? What do you think? Marilyn, how do you feel about your makeover? It's incredible. When I walk down and see this, it just, it fills me up. I'm so happy. That is real. <laughs> Design is real. Hollywood is fake, but this friendship is real. I actually have never met Mary Lynn ever before doing this show, but now she's the channel's new best friend. We're going to coffee tomorrow, right? We are. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, that was today's episode. Thank you so much to Mary Lynn Ryskub, our first celebrity guest. Make sure to buy her book wherever books are sold. And make sure to subscribe to Laugh, Cry, DUI.